90% of the cyber attacks can be prevented with a web application firewall or WAF. In this demo, we'll see how to enable out of the box AWS WAF protection for your web application and APIs with a single click in Amazon CloudFront console. Let's jump into it. In next few minutes, we'll create one CloudFront distribution and we'll use S3 bucket as origin. Then we'll enable one click security protection. Finally, we'll try one XSS attack to validate the protection. Login to AWS Management Console. Click Amazon CloudFront. Then we'll click create a CloudFront distribution. For origin, I have created one Amazon S3 bucket, one click security CF, and it contains only one HTML file and that HTML file contains only one line. Amazon CloudFront one click security protection. And it looks like this, just one line. Now let's select that Amazon S3 bucket URL. Scroll down. For origin access, let's go with the recommended option, origin access control setting. Let's click create control setting. One click security test. Click create. And it says you must update the S3 bucket policy. So we'll do that after this. Let's scroll down and we can see a section called OIV application firewall WAF with two options. One is enable security protection and other one is do not enable security protection. And this is one click security protection that we are talking about. Let's click it. This will include three different types of security protections. It will protect against common web application vulnerabilities like SQL injection, cross site scripting. At the end, I'll quickly show in the demo how it protects from XSS attacks. Then it block known bad inputs that are mostly used by Manasius actor for exploitation or discovery of vulnerabilities. And it will also block IP addresses typically associated with bots or other threats based on IP reputation list and Amazon internal threat intelligence. And AWS recommends this protection as first layer of defense. And definitely you can update or modify these rules once it is created. And in the price estimate, we can also check the estimated cost based on number of requests per month. Let's scroll down and click create distribution. So it will say, take some time to create. In the meantime, we are going to update the S3 bucket policy so that CloudFront can access the S3 bucket origin. Click copy policy, then click update policy. It will take us to the origin bucket. Scroll down and in the bucket policy section, click edit and paste the policy. Here you can see we are giving access to this S3 bucket for get object action to this CloudFront distribution. Let's click save. Let's go back to CloudFront distribution. So distribution is enabled, but it is still in deploying. So it will take few minutes to be ready. So in the meantime, let me explain what happens behind the scene. When we choose uh, enable WAP protection, CloudFront create one web application firewall and configure it with three AWS managed rule set. So one is AWS managed rules, common rule set, which protects the application against common web application vulnerabilities which are listed in WhatsApp top 10. Second one is AWS managed rules, known bad inputs rule set. This will block those request patterns or bad inputs, which are used by malicious actor for exploitation or discovery of vulnerabilities. The third one is AWS managed rules, Amazon IP reputation list. This will block all the IP addresses which are typically identified as bots or known for DDoS activities based on 
IP reputation list, Amazon internal threat intelligence. Let's go back and check. So it seems it is now ready. So let's click it, scroll down a little bit. We can see AWS OAuth is created by CloudFront. Click it, click rules, scroll down and we can see these three AWS managed rules are configured by CloudFront just in one click. Later, we can add more rules or update or modify or delete based on our requirement. Now let's go back to CloudFront distribution, copy the distribution URL and let's try. Try if you index HTML, we can see that HTML page is accessible through this CloudFront distribution. Now we'll try one XSS attack and we'll see how it gets prevented by WAP protection. So here you can see 403 error and it says request blocked. Now let's go back to AWS OAuth overview then scroll down. In the sample request section select AWS managed rules common rule set because we tried XSS attack and this should be prevented by this rule. And here we can see the XSS script that we tried for the attack and this rule detected this as cross-site scripting query arguments and it got blocked and that is what we saw here request blocked and we got 403 error please remember 90% of the cyber attacks can be prevented just by using WAF so don't forget to try it thanks for watching i learned a lot during my aws 11x certifications i will share all those resources here please consider subscribing to this channel if you are on the same journey